Hey everyone, uh, so <clears throat> now that you've come over here to the orientation video, I want to kind of walk you through uh, quickly and show you show you around so you know where to find things and uh, and uh, give you a chance to familiarize yourself with this. So during this first week of, of the class, this and uh, your first assignment are, will be during chapter one and will be during this first week. Uh, it won't be too much, but I definitely want to get you familiarized with uh, things so you'll know what to do and uh, all the things you have to get done, okay? All right, uh, so let me just start. First of all, in here, you'll see the welcome video uh, that you all just got to watch uh, a little bit ago before you came in here. Uh, and then you, this is the most important right here, the attendance check-in. You wanna get this done right away. Uh, I'd say like, as soon as you first time in, just take the 30 seconds and do it. Because this tells me you're in the class, you're committed to the class, and it allows for us to make sure that people who are not supposed to be in the class can't get in the class. So I'm really strict about this, and it's only this is one of the few things I'm strict about. But this is really important. And by by the end of the first week, if I see you haven't checked in, I'm going to drop you from the class, um, and then you'll have to try to reach out to me to try to get back in. So just knock it out and be done with it. Okay, really appreciate that. Okay, um, here's my office hour link. So even though there's no official office hours, if you need to set an appointment with me anytime, you can you know email me or call me. And then if you want to need to hop on Zoom, all you'll do is when we, if we set a time, you just come in here and click on this, and it'll take you right to me uh, in my Zoom room. Okay, and then here is the primary orientation module, and here is where everything is. And this is really your best resource for information uh, for the class. Uh, and since it is an online asynchronous class, meaning that you're basically working on your own, uh, it's, this is where you'll have your resource. Uh, certainly, you can ask me things as well, but uh, this is where you'll find things. Um, the first thing here will be that video that, that you're watching right now will be in this first space here. So that will be where you find the, the modules orientation. And then there's an orientation to-do list. This is basically tells you what you need to be kind of focused on during the first week. Just getting your attendance check in, reviewing the orientation module, check out your computer readiness. That just means if you're not really familiar with computer stuff, get yourself up and running. And then uh, doing the uh, getting to know each other discussion, which is the only extra credit I offer in the class. Uh, so this is, you know, it's for fun. It's just say introduce yourself. Uh, don't put any personal information in terms of like your address or phone number. That's not where you want to do that. But this is just where you say, hey, my name is John or whatever. You know, tell a little bit about yourself, you know, and that's where you get a chance to familiarize yourself with your classmates. And um, I'm just going to kind of walk down here a little bit. So this just tells you, are you computer ready? So if you really don't know anything about computers, which is be extremely rare these days, but if you didn't or were struggling, this is where you basically you need to figure out how to assess that so we can get you some help. Uh, the time commitment, this is all just sort of procedural things. These things in here just tells you basically how much time you need that lot. Of course, everybody's different, so it doesn't really apply completely, but it gives you a framework. And then about participation, of course, attendance, there is no real attendance, uh, but this is just participating in the class and turning in late work. Um, and then getting to know your online classroom. This is just familiarize yourself with the classroom space that's online. If for those who are, this may be your, this is your first time of taking an online course. Uh, student support. This is if you need some help, how to get a hold of help and student resource information. This is really important. So how to get access to different resources on campus or talk to certain people. Uh, in fact, I'll just click on it real quick. Then you'll see in here, um, there's a video that covers student resource information that I put together. And then there's also things in here regarding uh, just some basic resources here. So you'll have student services stuff that's in here that you can reach out to and disable students, student health services, mental health services, veteran centers, just to give you some a basic place to get general information depending on, your, on the specifics of what your interests are or what your concerns are. If you're an EOP student, uh, this is a great video. Or if you're not, if you're not sure, you can learn about EOPS here. Uh, which are Equal Opportunity Program, but it's a great program and run by some, some pretty fantastic people. Uh, contacting me again, office hour stuff. This is all just general information. This is the academic calendar. Just basically, I stick it in here because it just shows you like, the, like if there's any holiday, the dates of the holidays and stuff. Uh, I'll click on it quickly here for you so you can see. 
So if you ever want to figure out, see, are there any holidays during the time I'm in you know, class? And you'll see here in the summer, there's two. There's uh, June 19th, they call it Juneteenth, uh, and Ju July 4th. So these two in red are your two holidays during this session. Of course, if you're taking a line, this particular class it doesn't apply to you necessarily, other than the fact that you don't have to be doing anything on that day. But if you're taking a live class, uh, then you don't have to come on those two days. Okay. I'm sure you all know that July 25th is the last day of class, so just keep that in your mind. June 17th is the start date. This one's pretty important. This one has all the general institutional information uh, regarding important dates on campus. So if you want to, you know, like say if you decide for some reason you want to late drop the class because say, your, your grade wasn't what you wanted or something, it shows you the deadlines for all those kinds of things. Um, so I get, so here's a deadline for dropping class and financial aid date to make sure if you want to get your money back. And, uh, all those things really matter because certain things will you know, if you don't get dropped by a certain deadline, you won't be able to get your money back or you have to fight for it. Uh, July 17th, the deadline to drop us under intercession course. And of course, we end the week before after that. So, uh, but it does give you a highlight of just the general dates uh, leading up to the summer session. As I said, this is really a resource tool for you. So you can check in here and click into this stuff anytime you want. Um, and then the class discussion info stuff, this, this is about the discussions that, you, that we have in class. And this is information that, so as the discussions are part, the most important thing we do, this just basically gives you some information about discussions and the quality of discussions. And you want to at least browse it at least once so you can get an idea of kind of what my expectations are. And then you'll see below there, uh, there's a video clip that I've done uh, that just basically guides you through basically what the, what the discussions look like and the process of the discussions. And then below there, here are your class resources, here's your syllabus, and I'll cover that in a second. And your course roadmap, which basically tells you the assignments that are due from week to week. So no, I will click on that for a second. It's basically the last page of the syllabus, but basically you go through here, it shows you week one, week two, week three, all the way to week six, tells you what's what's what chapters, what your assignments are. Uh, for each week. So that's uh, your course roadmap for the for the summer session. And then uh, again, I'll come back to this. And then this is some information about your textbook that we have for the class. Uh, and here, like basically, it'll tell you about, you know, just basically what the book we have, which is Introduction to Comparative Politics. Again, it's a free book. It's an OER book, so you don't have to pay any money for this. Uh, but it just gives you uh, an outline of the book. And then right below that is the actual textbook. And the textbook, you can have a couple things you can do. You can either, I mean, you, you, all you do is click on the link and there's a PDF of it. So if you actually want to you know, download the whole book, you can feel free to download the whole book so you have access on your own computer. And then you also have it available here. Um, I would say, I would, I would encourage you, if possible, to try and avoid just you trying to do this on your phone. Every, most students I, I find who try to do all this on their phone really struggle and don't do as well with the phone app as they do with actually having the physical app. But here's the book. Um, it's a very readable book. That's why I really like it. It's, it's really well organized. And again, my goal is what I, what I do typically is I don't try and hit every chapter of the book. So you'll see when we go down a little further, the chapters that we're going to cover for the summer session. I realize that trying to cover all of it would not, would not really be fair to all of you. And then here's your getting to know it. You're getting to know each other. So here's where basically you click on it and it basically, you know, hey, my name is, you know, whatever, right? And you just, uh, yeah, so that's what you'll do. Where is the, okay. So, oh, I'm in a student view. That's why you don't see it. Let me leave the student view for a second so you can see what it looks like. So this is basically it. Uh, so it tells you when the due dates are uh, for all this stuff. And yeah, that's what you get. So just double checking something here while I'm looking at that. Yep, that's right. I just want to double check to check the date, make sure I have the right date. So I do have the right dates in there. OK, so that's what you come in. And then you see uh, it is just as, you know, what the goal is, what the prompt is. Hey, what's your name? What's your status? You know, first, second year, high school, whatever your status is. Uh, your major, you know, why are you going to Imperial, from Imperial Valley, just, just some basic fun information, that's all. So your, your classmates have a chance to learn something about you. And again, it's easy to do, simple, and you get up to 20 points if you put a little, just a tiny little bit of effort into it. 
And that's really, you'd be surprised many people who decide to skip that because it's not mandatory. And then they get to the end and they're like, oh, I was on the board, I almost got a B or an A. And it's like, yeah, well, you didn't do the extra credit. And I, then I'm not as sympathetic because I'm like, you could have had 20 points and you only needed 10 to get the A and you just skipped out on it because you didn't do the extra credit that you could have done that would have taken you all of like two or three minutes. Uh, so do take advantage of it, okay? <laughs> all right. And then uh, I titled this one, normally you see me, they'll say week one, week two, week three. This is week 1.1 because there's two things due this week and the second part, of course, the orientation's up here. Then here's the first chapter. And this is basically where it talks about why, why are we studying comparative politics. And each, chat, each, each weekly module is set up the same way. So you'll have your chapter overview, you'll have the resources, and then you'll have your assignments. Uh, so then, uh, so you'll hear that every week you'll have two things to do. You'll have a chapter summary and a discussion. The summaries are basically, you're just summarizing what, basically what you got from the chapter. So what typically happens is students will you know, find two or three things that, that they found interesting uh, in the chapter. And what I'm looking for is two to three, no more than four paragraphs max, so basically no more than a page, and certainly no less than about half a page uh, to three quarters of a page of information, just what you thought about the chapter. What, you know, what did you learn from it? Um, you know, and, and uh, so I do want you to make sure you do a good job on it, but it shouldn't take you very long to do, but I do want to know what you thought about what you, what you picked up from the chapter. And then the chapter discussion, uh, which again, for each chapter, there's a weekly discussion. So those are the two assignments you have every week. And you'll see here, as I said, the next week, week two, structured the same way. Your learning objectives, the lecture, the PowerPoint slides, there's vid the video, um, videos for the chapter, and then the readings for, the, for that chapter. This comes from the book, so the readings are that I, I, pull also, I pull the readings for you so you can either access them directly from the book or you can access them directly here. And then again, the assignments. So they're all set up the same way. So it makes it easy for you to follow. The due dates are also listed. And during the one summer session, as I mentioned, the welcome, I don't, I don't have due. There's basically everything's open for the entire uh, six weeks. But I do want to encourage you to take care of things early because it, I've seen students wait till the last second get stuff done and it blows up in their face. I've also seen where, and I, I'm watching to see. I, I look and see who's getting stuff done because I can't start helping you or grading until I see you start you know, doing some of the work. So when I see people start lagging, you know, I, then I, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm trying to be nice, but if, if you don't help me by trying to stay on top of the work, then I may call you out a little bit. So please don't get behind too far because it's really harder than you think sometimes catching up. Lastly, I'm going to show you the, uh, the uh, syllabus real quick. And the syllabus basically is just my, the, the contract between myself and you, the students, to just lays out the outline of the class. So you get the, all the basic information, you get the course description, the student learning outcomes, the course objectives, uh, and then the textbook information, which you already know because it's online. Here is the Zoom link if you, so you can access it directly here or you can access it where I put it up above in the, in the module. And then for most of the people, here's where you, everything you want to know for the most part, which is your, what, what the grade breakdown is. And, nor, and the way it works for me is I already build in a buffer zone. We don't have a plus or minus system. So it's A, B, C, D, F. And so what I do is, so normally you would say 90 to 100 would be an A. Well, I've already built in a buffer zone so that if somebody is getting a high B, like eight, which I look at 87.5% higher then they will get the A because they are high enough and close enough to get the A. And if there are 77 and a half, then they're going to get the B. So I already, I already build in a buffer zone for each of the levels. So when people come to me afterwards and say, I was so close to the A, and I'm like, well, I already built in <laughs> a, a chunk of percent, a big chunk of the percentage. So if, you, if you're if you lower than what the percentage I put in, then, you're, then you are in the B range. Um, but I will also sometimes consider if I see a student where I've seen the work get much better uh, as they get better and better and better and instead of worse and worse and worse, then um, I will reconsider those things as well sometimes if I see you really making extra effort. The key thing is to communicate with me. Uh, that's one of the big things. Uh, we have some information about AI. You know, you don't use it unless, you, unless you've been authorized. Uh, 
it's it's easy we have we have checkers now that we can check this stuff and you don't want to get caught up with this kind of stuff it just ends up blowing up in your face and you don't want to get a bad grade or be referred to the dean for something like that um and then this is basically again like the course roadmap this is just a cleaner version of it that shows you from week to week what you have to do and that is it so i've kind of taken you through the entire uh orientation module and feel free to go in and look around you can't break anything so just look around so you familiarize yourself so you know where to go when you need to get help and then again if you have any questions don't feel free to reach out to me and you guys have a great weekend and uh, good luck starting next week